You know, my friend, it is so important as we turn the page to a new calendar year that we're focused in mind on what we want to achieve, that we realize that we're not our past, we're not the problems that have held us back, that we have a fresh new start. But the whole thing is, is to give it to ourselves. God has already given it to us, but can we accept? I've been amazed throughout my time in ministry how many people are anchored to their excuses on why they can't do something, on why they can't achieve something. Don't you be like this. It can be in a big thing in your life or it can be in a very small thing, but we are all facing this human dilemma of wanting freedom from the bondage and limitation that has held us back, that has blocked us in the past, and going forward into something much better, much higher in life. You can be as strong and as free as you would like to be. You accept the promise of the Bible, you shall be free indeed. In John 8, 31 and verse 32, Jesus said, You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Well, the truth. I'm giving you the truth today about you. You are not who you were yesterday, and your blocks are no longer there. If you choose to go past, if you choose to go towards that that you want to achieve. Now, some people always seem to give their thought and attention to that from which they would seek freedom. It's like looking at a page with a small dot on it and focusing only on the black dot, not on the the whole clean page. They talk constantly about their unwanted habits. They think in terms of their own life of being bound, of being limited. Freedom comes as we place our attention on that that we seek to achieve as we look to the end goal and believe that we're already there with God. It comes as we talk about and we think about our God-given strength, as we realize the marvelous ability that is in us to grow spiritually, not to remain the same as we were in the past, to grow mentally and to grow physically, thinking toward that that is like God in a human, realizing that we are children of the Creator, and we have the divine potential within us, that we become a very special child of God in doing that. Let us place the very essence of our thought, where it belongs, on the strength of God indwelling us. And let us accept the promise, you will be free indeed. Let us make 2017 a year without excuse. This is the moment now, and now is the time to be free from anything that has held us in bondage in the past. We can be free, and we will go towards that that God wants us to have, God's will for us, as we let ourselves go and go with God. God bless you.